10 now we have Mark Baznight from the Charlotte Fire Department on the phone to give us some more perspective. Um, Mr. Baznight, thanks for joining us. Can you tell us how this call came in, how you were made aware of it, and how you've responded and what your firefighters are doing right now, please? Uh, yes, we received the call for a worker injured and trapped on a cell phone tower uh, on Shamrock Drive early this afternoon. Firefighters responded in force uh, with the heavy rescue team, technical rescue team, uh, and we're in process of uh, implementing or affecting a, a high-angle technical rescue. These rescues are oftentimes very tedious uh, and, as you can see from your camera angle, very dangerous. And Mark, Natalie Pasquarella here. Can you tell us we're seeing the firefighter all the way at the top and then the crews making their way up from the bottom. Exactly what is he trying to do there from the top to explain to our viewers? Well, they're making access. The, the worker is actually suspended from his harness uh, and he's uh, he sustained some type of injury. So firefighters will, uh, they've actually made contact with the injured worker uh, and right now they're attempting to secure his harness um, and then, uh, again, they'll begin the tedious process of lowering him down. down. Mark, via the ladder that he climbed up on, the, the goal is to, to lower him down to the ground from where that firefighter is at the top, lower him straight down without touching the cell phone tower? Well, right now, the, you know, the experts, and, and these guys are highly trained. Uh, they prepare to respond to these type incidents. So they're going to make the best decision on how to get him down, uh, whether they'll lower him completely down. As you can see, there's a 105-foot aerial ladder that's uh, been extended to its uh, maximum reach. Um, so that gives you a little perspective of how high this worker is. Um, and so it's unclear whether they'll lower him completely to the ground or they'll get him to the ladder and bring him down to the ground. Um, but, again, we'll leave that to these experts who, again, have been trained to respond uh, to these type of incidents. And, and Mark, as we're, as we're looking at him right now, we've noticed he's moving his hands, he's moving his feet. What can you tell us about his injuries, even though he's used to working on these towers, has to be just terrifying hanging up there? Uh, we don't know the extent of his injuries other than he's uh, incapable of getting himself down. So um, the extent of his injuries are still yet to be determined once we can get him on the ground and allow medical personnel firefighters and medic to assess exactly what his injuries are, but we can tell you that uh, he's unable to get himself down right now. All right, Mark Baz Knight with the Charlotte Fire Department. Thank you, sir, for taking a moment as you do your job out there for informing our viewers. Now we're switching to a